Hey guys, it's me, my Lego 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a lightsaber effect in GIMP 2.6. And the final product will look like what you see here on my desktop picture. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your um, pictures for your stop motion. And... Let's see, oh, I'm on this one. So, well actually, yeah, I'm on this one. And open it up with GIMP 2.6. So, send to, or no, open with GIMP. There we go, and then we can let that load. And actually these pictures, all in here, are for a new stop motion movie that I'm working on and I'm using my new camera that I got for my birthday, so yeah. And I like it, so. Expect the stop motion movie in like two, or no, not two weeks. In a couple of weeks, cause I'm going on vacation. So yeah, I got a little carried away right there. But today, I'll be teaching you how to do a lightsaber effect. So let's get on to it. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do in GIMP, once it's opened up, is create a new layer and make sure it's on transparency. Then select the layer and then go to the free select tool and outline the lightsaber. And this part of the lightsaber is gonna be the colored part so in my case, it's gonna be red because that's what color's lightsaber is. So choose the color that you want the lightsaber to be. And then go to the paintbrush tool and make it the biggest size that there is. And then color the lightsaber. And then go, and then once you've done that, select or go to the select bar and click none. And then once you've done that, go to tools, I mean filters, blurs, Gaussian blur, and then blur it 500. There we go, now it's blurred 500. And then you got the color part done and now we're gonna create another layer. And this is gonna be the white part of the lightsaber. And then we go to the free select tool. And then we just color it white. and then go back to the select bar and select none. And now you're probably thinking that the white is too harsh, so we can go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we can blur it however much you want to. I blur mine 75 or 50, so let, for right now let's try 75. Click okay. And 75 looks pretty good to me. If it doesn't look good to you, just um, undo it by clicking Control Alt Z, and you can redo the blur. But to me, that looks pretty good. So this is how you do a lightsaber effect in GIMP. And there's only one problem with it is if you're doing stop motion you have to do it each single picture but so it takes a really long time and another problem is you can't do it in video but if you're doing it for stop motion it's great 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys learned something. And, yeah. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next tutorial, or video. <laughs> Alright, see ya.